mean, we saw Sean McGordy run 353 for the mile, Taylor. And they're going to get proper pacing here once again tonight. And this is Grant Fisher's first big-time college race in, in a Stanford jersey on yeah. the track. Yeah, he ran Big Meat, ran 342 at Big Meat a couple of weeks ago. But this will be uh, his first more competitive race um, for the outdoor season. And out just a little bit slow, but working their way into pace. You can see McGordy is in just behind Kidder as you've got the two rabbits out front. And Grant Fisher tucked in on the rail. Thompson actually beautifully paced 43 mid for the rabbits. So that put McGordy and Kidder at 44. And McGordy stalking Kidder right now. <laughs> as they Stalking, hit, I like that. They hit 58. He's just such an <laughs> imposing figure. And, uh, and Robbie Kreese in the mix here. This is just a phenomenal race. Grant Fisher towards the back of the field. Josh Thompson in the back of the field. So kind of some shuffling around here as the first rabbit is off after, after 500 meters. And now it's Solis who's taking care of the rabbiting duties. And, and Kidder, with, who's got the best wheels in the field based on his 1,000 collegiate record, his 145, he is kind of leading things out here. And, uh, but he's got right behind him. Crease also there. Now Connor Winter from Colorado making a move in lane two on the outside. Grant Fisher right behind him. Ahmed Bile in the mix, 142. After, with two laps to go. So Kidder and McGordy just really just kind of saving some energy here as they hit 159, just under two minutes for the runner scheduled to finish. And now McGordy asserts himself. That was too slow. It's time to get moving. So Lee speeds up to continue his rabbiting, but McGordy's off. He He's off. He's ready to roll here. <laughs> and, and, from Colorado, you can see Connor Winter, the sub four miler, who's going to go with McGordy. He's not just going to give this thing away. And Grant Fisher's right there, too. So th they're sensing the finish line with 500 meters to go. Connor Winter, McGordy, and the rabbit's off. Now the race is for real. We are on. Connor Winter takes the lead, heading into 400 to go. 244, followed by Sean McGordy and Grant Fisher. Brandon Kidder and Robbie Kreese. And I'm just waiting for the fireworks here because I love the move that Connor Winter put down. He's the strong <laughs> steepler, and he's going to put the drive in from way out, 258 at 1,200. Grant Fisher looks really good. Kidder looks good. Elliott looks good. Thompson looks good. And oh, there goes Kidder. Wow. And Kidder says, I'm the 800-meter man. I'm going <laughs> to blow the doors off this thing, two, 312. And Kidder, he wants, he's tired of having that three-year-old, two-year-old PR, and Kidder is just dominating this race. Holy cow, what a move by Brandon Kidder. Absolutely blew this thing open. McGordy, Fisher, Thompson, they chase, but Brandon Kidder, he took the six-hour flight. He wants to take down that PR. He's going to be right around 340 as Thompson challenges for second, and it's Brandon Kidder, 339 with a massive close in 40, and he officially 340.1 for Kidder. Thompson up for second in 341.88. McGordy 342. David Elliott 342. And in fifth place, I think it was Grant Fisher who was in fifth. Fisher 342.85, which is one one hundredth of a one 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 hundredth of a second faster than he ran at the big meet and followed by crease who's another second back but kidder just blew the doors out of this thing down the back stretch 